back from an extreme sport to high fashion with a purpose. Kite Pride is a fashion accessory brand made out of broken and torn kites, and they're so colorful and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're employing victims of the sex industry, so it's a very socially conscious business, and we're very happy to have uh, Tabea and Matias Opliger. Hello, did I say it right? Yes, yes. you did. Yeah, I practiced <laughs> so many times. First of all, your story is so unique. You guys are from Switzerland. Mm -hmm. You decided to come to Israel. You're, you know, not Jewish, and you came to mm -hmm. Israel. And what was like? Is it because of kite surfing, and it's such a good kite surfing <laughs> destination here? <laughs> well, not quite, but um, we did fall in love with Tel Aviv. That's for sure. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was. Uh, I guess it's destiny sometimes, right? <laughs> it always is, right? So how are how are you from this landlocked country getting into kite surfing? I imagine like. There's not a lot to do on the lakes in Switzerland. <laughs> there is. You would be surprised. Really? Yes. Well, I guess the Alps would churn up a lot of wind, yeah. right? <laughs> well, the actual the, the, the fashion label we uh, produce here actually started up in Silva Plana, up in the high mountains, which is one of the first kite surfing stations worldwide. Wow. Well, that is so cool. All right, so tell us kind mm. of the you know how this whole idea came about. I mean, these are mm. beautiful, and I'm looking at this, I'm like. Oh my God, this is like, why didn't anyone think of this before? Not, not that I want other people to think of it, but congratulations <laughs> yeah, that you thought you. of it and you're doing it. What was the uh, reason behind it besides the fact that kites are beautiful to look at? Well, the real reason is not even the bag, even though we are completely outsold and we're passionate about the, the upcycled, you know, uh, fashion bag product. Right. But uh, the main reason behind all of this is, is our social business. Um, it's about rehabilitating uh, people um, who are exiting um, the, the sex industry. So that was number one. And number two, then, we came along with, with a really cool product. It's really um, genius. So how do you get, how do you collect all of these broken kites from around the world? Do people just know you exist and they like just send it your way mm -hmm. now? Well, we love the kite surfing community in Israel. They're so on board, the idea. And thanks to technology nowadays with Facebook mm -hmm. and Instagram. It's um, caught on fast. Yeah, it's caught, it's caught on fast. Ha, and ha, the ha. people can donate yeah. their kites and they get a free product. So how cool is that? Yeah. That really is amazing. And do you, are these handmade or you've now yes. been able to like get a factory because you're producing more? Handmade, yes, all of them. All handmade, yes. Wow. How, so how long does it take for you to make one bag? This one, one hour. This this An classic hour. bag, one hour. This one, about uh, 25 to 30 minutes. You guys are very efficient. <laughs> this is, and is it all an online business? Yes. Yes, we have an online shop, but you can drop in. Um, it's amazing. And how, yeah. like, so really it's been caught on just because within the, the community, everyone's talking about it, I, want, I imagine, right? Yeah, and we have very good people on board as well working for us. We have um, mm. great people who are also sold out for the cause um, without even being kite surfers. Mm. And they connected to the um, kite surfing community here and they do the Hebrew part for us because ah, it was quite yeah, hard. Yeah, that's very hard. <laughs> so tell us why specifically, you know, this is your cause. I mean, to be able to, you know, employ and help so many, you know, people that have been victims of mm -hmm. sex trafficking, sex mm -hmm. abuse. What was kind of the, what's the connection as to why you're so passionate about about that community in particular? Well, the thing is that I got involved with helping victims of human trafficking for quite mm -hmm. a while. Um, I started in Zurich. Uh, I heard about it and I just thought everybody says they want to do it. They want to be uh, in the job, on the mm -hmm. job. And I always said, I think they just don't have a choice, but let me find out. So I'm a massage therapist as well. Mm -hmm. And I started to go into brothels and uh, literally get to know these mm -hmm. women and their stories because I was just I just really wanted to know if it really was their choice or not because I didn't want to just believe what everybody was saying. Mm -hmm. So the problem that we faced and also I started working with organizations actually then helping the girls because I was um, just on my own with a few friends and then I founded Global Act um, out of a, a just, I was, I was just so passionate about helping these girls mm. because every single one of them told me if I would be offered another job, there was there would be no way I would be doing this. Mm. And so when we helped girls out, we found there were a lot of organizations um, offering rescuing. them shelter and rescuing them in that right. sense and the police uh, right, worked but then, very well but, but then, then rehabilitating them and really giving them yeah. jobs mm. and making and them independent purpose. yeah, yeah. They, they stayed victims in these shelters and so we just we just realized there's nobody out there actually really having this protected work environment and offering them a second chance and what I love about this mm. kite surfing we always say a second wind for kites and yep. people exactly. because it really is about giving the kite a second chance yeah. <laughs> wow it's um, so so it's really, really I mean, so amazing what you're doing. I mean, it's. I, mean, I read a, CN, a CNN headline mm -hmm. a few years back. There was a big image of a woman from Nigeria who was trafficked, and the title said, We don't need pity, we need a job. And that just really struck us. That was right when we arrived here that to do our market research. Yeah. It's like, that's exactly, that's so true. 
Wow, beautiful what you're doing.